Hey guys, welcome back again to the show. It's your boy Dan once again. And today, we're gonna react Nook's top 5. I mean, hindi siya top 5, pero top 10 siya. Top 10 scary videos of what the fuck is that? So, it's been a while since I reacted Nook's. So, yun nga. Yeah, it's been a while. Okay. I never watched Nook's like for past 2 months na. And di ko man siya sabi na takot ako. Di ko man iniiwas to. Sadyang I don't find any scary videos. Scare. Scare. But I am not But who knows? So, we're gonna react again. Uh, nope. So, let's go. Concerned Father Chris from Fargo, North Dakota says that his four year old son has been behaving very strangely. He says that over the last three or four days, the child has said that he just doesn't want to go in the bedroom because he says, quote, there's a monster in there. Obviously, Chris just dismissed these claims as a child's overactive imagination. But then, one night at around 2 a.m., the boy is fast asleep in bed when something happens that Chris and his wife simply can't explain. Something truly shocking. No one is injured in this footage, okay? Damn. The boy cries out when he appears to get shoved out of bed by some invisible force. Chris says that his son cried out in shock, but thankfully, the boy was okay and completely unharmed. Chris says that the previous owner of their house passed away right in the living room, and he wonders if this tragic history has anything to do with what's happening to their son. Hold the door. Man, man. A woman well, named Nadine well, has well, been... Well, a... If someone pass, sabi, na, sabi natin, if someone pass, like, namatay siya sa living, dapat inaano sa, like, sa pare or, or sa anong pa ano dyan. <coughs> like, dapat may blessing eh, diba? Kasi something is bad, ba? Kasi, alam yun na, uh, yeah, there's so... I don't, we don't want some random spirits uh, random, uh, walking around in your house. So, that would be less. I think so, because here in the Philippines, if you can do a house, or if you can do a house, or something like that, it's eh, a blessing. Yan, syempre. Kailangan dapat yan sa isang bahay. Di ko alam ba, hindi na in, in apply. I mean, US, I don't know. I mean, US thinks, uh, pero wala lang. I don't think they do. So, right out in shock, but a woman named Nadine has been experiencing some very strange and unexplained events in her home in Alabama. What is he growling? Now, many viewers believe that they can hear a voice whisper something after the dog barks that sounds like, lay over there. <laughs> but what do you hear, if anything? As for Nadine, she says that she's a skeptic and doesn't really believe in ghosts at all. But then one night, she's looking after her two-year-old daughter, Blake, and something happens that freaks her right out. Blakey, you okay? Do you want me to go open the door? Why? No, okay. Okay, I, I'm honestly freaking the f*** out and I don't know what to do. Just a couple minutes ago, I got up and I closed my door because she kept pointing to my room saying, Mommy, Mommy, someone's over there. And, and she was terrified. She, she, was, she was terrified, of course, freaking me out. So I went over there and she just said, No, Mommy, come here. Come here, Mommy. Sit, sit, Mommy. Don't go over there. And so I called the dog and I closed my door. And as you can see, Dude, she's still terrified. She's still terrified. She doesn't want me going over there. She doesn't want me to open the door. I am... Dude, I'm terrified. Blakey? Man, man. 
men dog says and maybe especially like a uh, bata pa yung mga baby na yan like ano three three years pa baba they can see something na hindi natin nakikita that's why it's so terrifying like if if you had a dog meron ka aso na na you know na kung anong ginagawa niya tapos na ang inya niya kung meron siya kaaway tapos wala naman siya na ano pinakita siya Just like some cats, I, th- I think cats can uh, see something uh, paranormal. So yeah, na tapo talaga yung kanito. Mommy's gonna go open the door, okay? I'll be right back. It's okay. Holy fuck! She is she open the door? I'll be right back. And now she's hiding her face. Dude, what the f***? Damn. That. <sighs> It's okay, baby. Okay, okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, tell me I'm not legit. What do I do? Little two-year-old Blake is terrified of something in Nadine's bedroom. So much so, two-year-old Blake. Is- okay, tell me I'm not legit. What do I do? Little two-year-old Blake has closed the door to calm her daughter down. So could it be that little Blake saw a supernatural entity, or just what was scaring her? Let me know what you think. It can. Hello? It can be kasi halos lahat tayo lang if nakikita ko sa news. Now, some kids saw something uh, paranormal. So it's not a lie. It's, it's uh, real talaga na kids na ganito. On the farm. Tasha D and her husband move into an 1840s farmhouse in rural upstate New York. The happy couple begins to renovate their new home. But soon, anyway. Tasha begins to experience some very unsettling and unexplained events. These strange incidents only seem to occur when Tasha is home alone, so her husband is a bit skeptical. So one day, a picture frame in the house inexplicably falls to the floor. Tasha grabs her phone and starts to record in hopes of proving to her husband that something's just not quite right in the old farmhouse. See, and you think I'm crazy. The first time I'm here by myself, there's a picture on the floor, and it just... But things soon start to get even weirder, because the family dogs begin to act really strange. Now you're getting a dog with that small, but I should... Well, I in your, you, you should adopt a big dog. Kasi uh, mas protect, mas kaya mo i-protect nyo kaysa this tiny dog. No offense, but man, this is, you didn't in, like this in a situation like this is kind of scary. Why are you running? She has a big, she has a big dog okay, so okay. Another day and Tasha is recording a candid video of her dogs to post to Snapchat when this happens. Look at them, destroying the living room over one toy. That's so many dogs. <laughs> Silly. Right after posting the video to Snapchat, a worried friend reaches out to Tasha to warn her about what seems to be a strange shadow-like figure moving up the wall right beside her dogs. Tasha has no idea what the creepy shadow could be, so she shares her story to TikTok hoping to find answers. The video soon grabbed the attention of millions of concerned TikTok viewers who wonder if Tasha might have awakened a paranormal presence by renovating the 180-year-old farmhouse. And then, one night, just after midnight, 
someone rings Tasha's doorbell. When she checks the security camera, what she sees chills her to her core. Shadow can be seen moving towards the outside deck chair and appears to just take a seat. Damn. It then gets up, moves away towards the right, and disappears. So did Tasha and her family move into a haunted farmhouse? Could the renovations be upsetting a lingering paranormal presence, causing it to act out? Let me know what you think. Imaginary Friend a woman from Oregon says that her young daughter claims that there is something living in their basement, hiding in the storage area just underneath the stairs. At first, of course, the mother dismisses these claims, just thinking it's the little girl's overactive imagination. But that same day, after hearing something strange coming from the basement, the mom decides to check the footage from their security camera. What she sees chills her to her core. Did you see it? A small pale hand can be seen reaching out from under the stairs before just disappearing. Even creepier, both the child and the family cat seem to spot this bizarre apparition. The little girl even seems to wave at something that we can't see. Now, unfortunately, this video was shared to the internet without a direct source, so we'll probably never know just what happened here. Damn. What walks in the woods? Reddit user no recognition 1998 says that this video was caught on a trail cam 20 miles out into the Idaho woods in the middle of nowhere. Now, there is no reason that anyone would be this far out in these isolated woods at this time of night. True. So what is this? What the fuck is that? Someone or something walks past a forest trail cam at 4.37 in the morning in the middle of the woods in the middle of nowhere. Curious Reddit viewers point out that this strange humanoid figure just looks kinda off. Yeah. They say it's perhaps not even human at all, as it seems to have very pale skin, thin frail arms, and a long neck. Now is this a very lost and very strange person wandering around the remote woods of Idaho? Or is it something else? I leave that for you to decide. So this, I think, is kind of an, uh, an explain. Because what is this thing? Well, I'm getting a screen there that I'm going to talk about, and people don't know what is it. So, I think it's just like a big foot or like lapis monster. So, man, they call them kung ano ba talaga yung bali discovered in the subnanet. Speak, people talaga lurking in the darkness. Now, this next extremely popular video was suggested so much probably close to a thousand times, there was really no choice but to feature it here on Nuke's Top 5. So, Dustin Frazier says that he works the night shift at an allegedly haunted hotel in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. One night, Dustin is recording a Snapchat video to send to his friend when something happens that makes his blood run cold. Haunted hotel. Man, oh my god. okay? I feel like, ugh, like all day today. I felt bad. Almost at least like a little bit. I felt bad. And I don't know. I just like I feel like I need to go to the doctor, but like I'm constantly just like nauseous. And I don't really know why. Like I have tried to like take medicine for it and stuff, but I I don't know. It doesn't seem like it really does anything. Um but if you wanted to swing by, um, 
and say hey like you could oh i can't see i also hate that they always keep this room so dark like come on now but anyways yeah if you wanted to swing by and say Yo. Okay guys, we're back again. Sorry lang uh, after the video yung nag uh, I think uh, medyo na yun. Okay, medyo nag uh, umabo. Umabo yun. Inalam na namatay yung camera ko. I don't know why. It's because uh, sakto yung pag ano. But if, if, I don't know if you see my reaction there. I think that they always keep this room so f***ing dark. Sorry lang ah. Like, come on. Because nag, nag, nag cut yung uh, video. Anyways, yeah, if you wanted to swing by and say, Hey, then you could. But, you, you, you know, yung grabe yung takot ko, pero yung huli ko na napansin na yung video is like stuck up. So, yeah, inano ko lang. Very sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm just chilling. Throughout the video, strange voices and whispering can be heard. I felt bad. Honestly, it's less like a little bad to voice, like take that yeah. thing. Um, and I also hate that they always keep this room so f***ing dark. Like, come on now. But creepiest of all, something can be seen standing what? in the shadows just behind Dustin. Not once, but twice. Some dark figure was behind. It's, you know, it's, it's kind of scary thing that he got, but he didn't know. Damn. That's a, that's a scary, scary thing to happen. 
Dustin, not once, but twice, some dark figure with a distorted skeletal face. Now at the time I'm recording this story, this video has gained a massive audience of over 19 million viewers, making it the most popular and most suggested video. But is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. If this is real, oh my god, this is the scariest thing video I've ever seen. We need scary videos, so if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top 5, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Caught on camera. Reddit user Justin says that he and his family recently bought and moved into a historic 1800s terrace house in London, England. But during renovations, Justin says his doorbell security camera caught something really creepy. Someone is... That's good. That's good. Damn. Around 10 p.m. at night, someone or something can be seen quickly taking a peek at Justin's front door. Then whoever or whatever it is appears to walk past the car in the driveway before disappearing off camera. Now with the house's 200 year history, Justin is worried that his renovations might have triggered some paranormal presence to act out. But worried Reddit viewers warn Justin that he might be dealing with something even scarier. A trespassing stranger that is scoping out his house for unknown reasons. So is this a ghost? Or is this a very real and potentially dangerous person? You decide. Frozen. Hindi ko masabi dangerous person yun kasi ah kasi hindi mo makita yung katawan niya halos. It's like something smoke or air makita mo parang ganon. So it's not a human. In fear. In this creepy video, a woman begins recording when her dog refuses to come back inside their house. The dog seems frozen in place and refuses to even look back at his owner as she calls to him. Nigel, what are you doing? Nigel. This dog is scared. Her dog, but I mean. <gasps> the dog appears to be frozen in fear as it stares at something behind the shed in their backyard. When the woman slowly looks around the corner, her heart almost stops as she sees two creepy glowing eyes staring right back at her. Now the video abruptly ends here and was reposted to the internet by social media outlets that just don't bother to credit the source. So with no explanation, it's hard to say exactly what's going on here. But the dog's freaked out reaction is strange. So just what do you think this dog is seeing looking back from the darkness? Cursed. Yeah, that, that's the scariest thing to do. Like, yung sa sobrang takot mo, na stun ka. Even the dog stun. Dogs can fear that. A young woman in Japan claims that her grandmother kept a cursed photo album locked in one of her cupboards. The woman believes that her grandmother might have dabbled in dark magic, and that the cursed photo album and her grandmother's strange rituals might have led to her grandfather's strange, unexplained death 12 years earlier. Her grandfather allegedly took his own life inside the home, but the circumstances were very suspicious. The young woman says that for her part, she once viewed the cursed album herself but that she became seriously ill immediately afterwards. Since then, the young woman's grandmother has passed away, but she is still afraid of the home and the creepy photo album. She asked anonymous paranormal investigator Kaneko to remove and destroy the album, 
warning him that everyone who views the photo album becomes ill and that some of her family even believes that the cursed album can possess the viewer. So Kaneko explores the old abandoned home and finds the album. But he too starts to become ill and is forced to quickly leave the house, leaving behind both his phone and camera as he dashes out. YouTube channel Fourth Wall is contacted and asked to retrieve his equipment and analyze the footage. What they find is downright chilling. Recovered footage from a phone that was used as a static camera shows a portrait of the woman's late grandfather just falling to the floor for unknown reasons. But that's not all, because Kaneko has actually recorded the moment he found and looked through the cursed photo album on camera. Something happens that Kaneko claims that he doesn't remember at all. Something terrifying. Did you see it? Kaneko hears a strange sound coming from somewhere inside the house. But when he turns to look, someone can be seen kneeling behind the glass of a sliding door. But Kaneko says there was no one else inside that house with him. After analyzing the footage, YouTube channel Fourth Wall believes that the woman's grandmother might have been responsible for her grandfather's death and that his spirit is unable to move on. Watcher in the Damn. woods. YouTuber Stand Creepy scary. Outdoors frequently sets out to explore and spend the night deep in the wilderness of Canada. On one of these trips, he sets up camp just like any other night and scouts through the woods with a flashlight and a GoPro camera. But this time, something very unexpected happens and things take a creepy turn. Oh, 
Oh, hi. What the hell? I need to get out of here. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay. That was f***ing creepy. I need to get out of here. The camper thinks he hears movement in the remote woods, so he cuts his flashlight so he can't be seen. But the joke is on him, because just then, a high-pitched voice can be heard calling out, I see you. Oh, hi. Now he's feeling a little on edge and wondering if there might be someone or something stalking him in the dark woods. Dennis. He decides to just quickly head back to the safety of his camp. The experienced explorer says this is the scariest sound he's ever heard in the woods. Even though he was somewhere deep in the Canadian wilderness and completely removed from any towns or cities, he says that he hopes that the voice belonged to just a fellow camper having a laugh. You can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel, Creepy Outdoors. Man, man, you, you go see out, if you are in outdoors in the woods, man, if someone, if you someone uh, heard anything, oh my God, natakbo talaga ako. No, it's it, natakbo ako at umuwi na lang sa <laughs> Man, that's kind of scary. Oh, oh, oh my God. You can skip shit out of me, okay? Skip shit out of me. But guys, yun nga po, and I hope you like the video. And I think it's good man. But if you like this video, please like, comment, share, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'm your host, Dan, and see you in the next. Bye!